Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video. And I post new videos every Wednesday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. And I do that through book reviews, book hauls, Bible studies, discussions, vlogs, and more. So as the title says, this is an unboxing from an author that I actually contacted. And you will not see this on a Wednesday. It'll probably just go up on a random day, so I don't know what day I'm going to post it. But it's not my usual Wednesday that I'm posting but um yeah I reached out to this author because I've been interested in her interested in her books for a minute and um I really just wanted to try out some of her books share them with you guys do some reading vlogs because I miss doing reading vlogs and I figured why not read some of her books at the same time and um I really just want to help get biblical fiction out there as much as possible I talk about it I read about it and um I definitely think more more people should read biblical fiction so i emailed her and she emailed me back immediately and i requested specifically one book that she did send me and then i also said that i would like to read two more of her books so she sent me three books total and i'm so excited so we have the books here with some goodies which i'll show you guys but um the author is barbara m brighton brighton Britain. i think it's brighton i'm sorry if i'm saying it wrong i so apologize but um yeah she writes a lot of beautiful biblical fiction books her covers are stunning mind you i love her covers on her books um you can find her books on amazon i'll leave links down below but um she definitely sent me the books and i was so excited about that that when she responded and um she sent me a thank you card which this card is so cute i love the bees and the lavender i am a sucker not just for the color lavender but for the smell of lavender and lavender flowers yes so i was excited for this but i'll read you guys what the card says it says, Dear Nay, thank you for reading my stories. I always say God has the best storylines. I enjoy discovering little-known Bible characters. God's word is alive. All the best to you, Barbara. So, that's what the card says. I'm going to keep this, of course. So, we are going to go through this. It's only three books, and um, I'm super, super excited for them. So, the first one is Providence, Hannah's Journey. And this was the one I actually, honestly, um, asked her to review. This was the one that I definitely wanted to read because this was based off of 2 Kings chapter 5 about Naaman, who was the commander of the Syrian army, and the little uh, servant girl that he brought back to his um, home, who basically helped him, I guess, reach faith and be healed and delivered and things like that. And I mentioned months ago that I read a middle grade biblical fiction novel um, about the young servant girl and Naaman, and it was beautifully written. Uh, when Barbara emailed me, she said that she did change the names of the characters in this. So I don't think the servant girl's name was ever mentioned, so that's fine. But I don't think Naaman's name is Naaman in this book. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that's what she said in the email. But um, I'm still interested. So like I said, this is based on the scripture of Second Kings chapter 5. This was also her debut novel back in September 2016. And it's the first book in her Tribes of Israel series. As of right now, there are three books out. But I'm not sure if there's going to be more than that. So it's either a trilogy or a series. Don't know. But um, I was super, super excited to get this. So it says, when the prophet of Israel refuses to heal her, Hannah flees Jerusalem and is captured by an enemy with a curse all his own. So on the inside, she sent me bookmarks that correlate with all of the books, which is so amazing. So here is the one for Providence. It is gorgeous. I love that. And then on the back, you have little bits and pieces of it. I really like that so we have that and she signed all of the books for me which I I'm just excited so this one says for nay be strong and courageous and do God's work blessings and then she signed it so we have that which is amazing to me so I'm gonna put the bookmark I'm actually gonna put the bookmark to the side so I can laminate it I laminate all my bookmarks but I'll read what the back of it says so it says as a sole daughter of the chief priest, Hannah is publicly shamed when the prophet of Israel refuses to heal her. Determined to restore her family's honor, Hannah escapes Jerusalem in hopes of finding the prophet and convincing him to restore her deformities. Gilead, a young Hebrew guard sympathetic to her plight, willingly accompany her, accompanies her. On their way, they are captured by a band of raiders. Hannah is forced to serve in the household of the commander of the Aramean army, an officer who is in need of healing himself. Meanwhile, Gilead is being used as a sword practice for the Aramean soldiers. Hannah must act fast to save Gilead and herself, but survival means coaxing the prophet of Israel to heal an enemy commander. So this is just one of the books I'm really, really excited for. So I definitely will have a reading block for this because I'm super, super excited. This was like the main one that I definitely wanted to read. So we have this beautiful book. And uh, the colors on this cover are everything like... I'm thinking book to look makeup tutorial maybe because these orange kind of brown colors these ooh, they are calling for me calling but um, we're gonna move on to the next book 
Okay, so the next book she sent me was actually the third book in the Tribes of Israel series, and it's Jerusalem Rising. Um, it's called Ada's Journey, and this is based off of Nehemiah chapter 1 through 8, which I am so here for. We love Nehemiah. I love the prophet Nehemiah. I have yet to study it in the Bible, but every book that I've read that included Nehemiah um, in it, I have just loved because his wisdom and his words of encouragement are just so amazing. So I cannot wait to actually study the book of Nehemiah in depth. So here for it. But if I'm not mistaken, this one follows a young girl who's helping during the time that Nehemiah is sent back to Jerusalem to rebuild the walls, if I'm not mistaken. And this book came out in November 2017. So on the cover, it says, when Ada volunteers to rebuild Jerusalem's wall, she soon discovers that not all Judah's enemies lie outside the crumbling rocks. And then again, we have the matching bookmark. Here is the front, the back of it. And this one signed as well. It says, Blessings on your journey. And then she signed it. So I'll quickly just read what it says on the back. When enemies close in, Adam must find the strength to heed God's call. When Adam Bat Shalom, I think that's how you say it, Bat Shalom, finds the governor of Judah weeping over the crumbling wall of Jerusalem, she learns the reason for Nehemiah's unexpected visit. God has called him to rebuild the wall around the city of David. Nehemiah challenges the people of God to labor on the wall and in return the names of their fathers will be written in the annals I think that's how you say that word annals for future generations to cherish but Ada has one sister and no brothers will her father who rules a half district of Jerusalem be forgotten forever Ada bravely vows to rebuild her city's wall though she soon discovers that Jerusalem not only has enemies outside the walls or outside the city but also within can Ada her sister and the men they love honor God's call or will their mission be crushed by the same stones they hope to construct? So this reminds me of, oh my God, what was the book? On the Foundation by Lynn Austin, which I just finished reading, which was so good. Well, I didn't just finish reading it. I read, finished it like a couple months ago, but it was really good. So it's giving me those kind of vibes. So I'm super, super excited to dive into this and see what this is about. Like, it sounds amazing. I love Nehemiah. I know there's going to be some wisdom up in here. So we are ready for it. Her books do include scripture. Um, and I believe it is the NIV translation that she uses. Um, it says on the inside of the copyright section that she does use the NIV translation. So that is going to be great. But um, I'm excited for this one too now because I love Nehemiah. So I might read these two back to back. Um, Providence, which is book one of the tribes of Israel, and then read book three. I don't have book two, but if I enjoy these three books, I definitely will go and purchase the other three books because there is one book from this series um which is book two and then i have books two and three from the other series which i will share with you guys now okay so this book is called lioness mala's journey um here it is this is the first book in the daughters of zelophad uh trilogy series i think it's a series i think it's a series on her website it says series um and it also features balaam who was the son of beor beor i don't know how to say that name but he is mentioned in scripture you can look up the scriptures here on the screen but this is based on Numbers 27, verses 1 through 11, and then Numbers 36. I cannot remember the actual scriptures. So I'll throw the scriptures somewhere on the screen. You guys can check those out. But definitely in the book of, uh, in the book of Numbers is where uh, the daughters of Zelophad are mentioned. And this one just follows one of them. I mean, I believe she's the eldest of her sisters. But it says, to keep her orphan sisters together, Mala must boldly request an inheritance that will change history so um inside this one i have a few things so i also have the bookmark for this one as well gorgeous and here is the back of it i like that so i'm definitely going to um uh i was about to say sanitize <laughs> i am definitely going to what is the word laminate those bookmarks and then this also came with it um so this book came out october 2019 so it has the book here and then on the back it has the tribes of israel series um and it comes with this gorgeous little like fringe thing so this is cute i'm going to laminate this as well and this definitely could be a bookmark just saying i use everything as a bookmark okay but uh yeah we have this and i'll quickly read the back of it daughters of zelophad while the israelites struggle to occupy the promised land of god mala Mala Bat Zelophad is orphaned and left to care for her four sisters, but daughters of the dead are unable to inherit land, and it will take a miracle for Mala to obtain the means to care for her sisters and uphold the vow she made to her dying mother. Mala must seek Moses, the leader of her people, and request something extraordinary, the right for a daughter to inherit her deceased father's land, a right that will upset the ox cart 
of male inheritance and thrust her into the role of a rebel. But God is the protector of the orphan and the widow, and five orphan daughters need his help. With God, anything is possible, even changing man's tradition. So that just sounds like it's going to be beautiful. I, ha like I said, I've read through Numbers. Um, I have read most of the Bible. I haven't studied most of it, but I have read through it. And when I got to the story of the daughters of Zelophehad, I thought it was really amazing that they were able to get an inheritance, even though they didn't really have any male figures in their life. So um, that was amazing to me. And on the back, there are pictures of the other two books, which are called Heavenly Heavenly Light and claim in Canaan here are the other two covers for that but um yeah this is the first book in that series so I'm assuming there's going to be maybe two more books because there's five daughters total so I would assume that I don't know I don't know at all but I think these covers are just amazing I love the orange with that pop of blue and green at the top and some yellow I love the greens and purples in this and then I also love this one as well. This has like the same kind of feel, but more darker, much more darker than this. But um, I'm excited. I'm very, very grateful that she was um, able to actually send these to me. And I just, I can't wait to read them. I definitely will have reading blogs for these books as well as um, reviews. I will possibly do a look to look tutorial because yes but um yeah i'm excited they look gorgeous too and i love how all of her books though they are different series they all have the same font and same style which not many book series and books by authors are like that so i am very grateful i mean the placement of where she has a little synopsis her name the font for the book name as well as under like it's just it, we love it we love a good book aesthetically pleasing books are amazing especially when you put them on your shelves um we're not even gonna talk about bookshelf space because my bookshelf is like overflowing <laughs> yeah but i'm excited to own these and i can't wait to read them so if you guys are interested in any of these let me know um all the links for these will be down below of course they're amazon links and all the links that i use for amazon they are affiliate links so when you do use them and you purchase using my links down below then i do get a little bit of commission it is not a lot of money um honestly but i just want to be clear because some people do ask me about the amazon link so i'm just being upfront with you guys it is an affiliate link that if you click and use it um i do get a tiny commission literally like 10 20 cents from um your purchases and that adds up and also helps with um me getting rewards for amazon to purchase books and resources to share with you guys so that is it for this video thank you guys for watching reading comment and subscribing and i will see you guys in the next one bye